Welcome. <laughs> How you doing? Hope you're doing really well, more importantly. Hope you're keeping safe and you're staying, you know, positive. Because we need it at times like this, don't we? So, today, I'm in Rygate in Surrey. Uh, a place where I'd done a few gigs in the past. In fact, the last gig I did before the dreaded zombie apocalypse happened was literally just there. So it's quite nice just to come back and uh, actually go into Rygate proper. Today, however, we're going to do the elephant in the room. Rygate Castle. I've had a couple of really nice memories here. And uh, again, it seemed to be not too long ago, before the dreaded zombie apocalypse, where I was here chilling out. And uh, yeah, beautiful castle grounds as gardens, if you think of them as that. But uh, more importantly, let's enjoy a history lesson, because it's what we're here for, for today. I'll catch my breath, <laughs> and uh, I'll see you on the other side. Bye for now. Surrey can lay claim to having a few interesting castles in its county, and none more so than that of Rygate Castle. Although nothing now except earthworks, the site is probably more well known for the cave that's in its grounds, that of Baron's Cave, but today we focus on the former castle itself. The castle was a typical Norman Motton Bailey castle and was built by William de Warren, the second Earl of Surrey, after his father, also called William de Warren, the first Earl of Surrey, had been given lands by William the Conqueror. Then, in 1150, as was typical of the time, the de Warrens ordered that a town be constructed below the castle, forming what we now know as Rygate Town. The castle started as a timber-built castle, then around a century later with the curtain walls being rebuilt in stone, as well as it would have had a water-filled moat on one side and a dry ditch around the remainder of the structure. Eventually the castle was left to slowly ruin and decay following the dissolution of the monasteries when the lords of the manor moved their primary residence to Rygate Priory. Later in life, in 1777, Richard Barnes, who rented the grounds, built a new gatehouse folly using the remaining stone, and then, a century later, the Borough Council was granted a long lease on the property, which had been turned into a public garden. In my opinion, the town of Rygate is an understated town built from its Norman past, and the de Warren family and the castle that laid the imprint of the town that we see today. Right, well, it would be rude not to start this video at one of, uh, <laughs> at one of the most obvious points to start really, which is, boom, uh, one of the castle grounds follies, I suppose we can argue them as. And as I sort of say is that we're not going to focus on Baron's Cave today for obvious reasons. There's no point doing it until obviously um, go in it. So that's a separate, that'll be a separate video. But for today, we are here looking at the castle itself. Obviously it's kind of weird because I say castle when we look at this, but obviously this really isn't part of the castle. Like I said, this is part of the folly. And even though... It's uh, distinctly beautiful in its own right. Historically, no. <laughs> Accuracy, zero. <laughs> I mean, those arrow slits. Those arrow slits are huge. If you want to call them arrow slits, but it's a folly, isn't it? So it's, it's nice and beautiful in its own architecture. So let's actually take a look inside the grounds themselves. Come on. So, let's begin our story. Um, 
as I sort of mentioned, I've, I've spent many time in Rygate and I think it's a really nice town actually. The people seem to be so lovely around here and like I said, it was always a pleasure that I've only played probably a couple of gigs here and like I said, the irony was my last one was before the dreaded zombie apocalypse. But I have visited this on a few occasions. Trust me when I say it, this is the best bit. So we're now walking up the mound of Rygate Castle and I'll explain more about that probably in a minute. And here we are and there is not a soul in sight. No, forgive me, there is a man sitting down and there is the lovely ginger cat. That is the top of Baron's Cave and what you've got to imagine is that that's one of the, well that's the exit I suppose we could argue, but obviously Baron's Cave does sort of form a bit of a unusual V and then it comes down. And I think I've made a friend. There's a ginger tom. Hello. Hello. Doing a history channel, but you can come and say hello if you want. Yeah, I know. You're sunning yourself. Were you? Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Hope you're not killing birds. Hmm? It's meant to be a video about a castle, not a very lovely cat. Oh, nice. All right. Thank you. <laughs> you know, it's amazing, isn't it? When we do these explores of the things that we see. I've never seen that cat here before in my life. It seems to be following me. Look, what's the matter? Talk about it. Talk to me about it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. So, obviously, let's let's be serious for a moment. We're on top of the castle now, the main part of it, the moat, I suppose. And it's uh unusual really because we always think of castles, don't we, as having some form of ruin, but what we don't ever think of is that the ruins themselves, whoa! are way more modern than they are. Look, what? I'm trying to do a video, can you stop following me? No, I can't. <laughs> oh dear. You're not, look, following me. I'm trying to do a video. People really enjoy my historical content and you're sort of ruining it. I know, I know, I know. And cats are lovely too. Not as nice as dogs though, but don't tell her that. Because Mrs. B look, 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 look. Look. Yeah, I know. Okay. I've made I've genuinely made a friend here. Um so where was I? <laughs> oh. oh sometimes you've just gotta love life, haven't you? You've just gotta love it. And then it turns into more of a vlog than a historical sort of like video, doesn't it? But yes, what I was saying was, this is our folly, this is our entrance gated folly that we, we love and know, which is the infamous thing that protrudes Rygate. I'm still being followed. Yes. I'm still being followed by you. Yes, can you stop it? Cool. Wish I had that much affection from other people, but I just don't get it, do I? I have to get it from animals, I know. So, <laughs> I've got a tour guide. Where are we going then? Where do you want to take, well, where do you want to take me? This way? Right, we're going this way then. Okay, fine. So we're now standing on top of the folly. <laughs> I kind of wanted to go over to the Baron's Cave, which I will, I promise I will do in a minute. But what, we're going? Yes. Um, so, we're at the folly and um isn't it beautiful so you can see there would have originally been a latch on here as well maybe obviously because it was technically probably like a fancy gate really wasn't it and then these amazing crossed crossed uh arrow slits i suppose you could argue them as being but i mean car artistic license isn't it really i'm still sorry cat cat update still on my feet so 
this is our amazing folly and uh, yeah isn't this brilliant right so if you want a reference point um, for where the uh, road tunnel is which depending on when this comes out you might see that video I'm doing that one today as well the road tunnel is literally uh, in this direction so say you've got the folly behind us and we stand on top of the folly and if you wanted to know where the road tunnel was from here you simply would, well it's going underneath the far end of the grounds on that direction but if you follow it round from where we started our walk which is obviously we're on top now and you walk round you can easily come across it and uh, yeah it's literally over there but the actual tunnel entrance is I don't know if you can sort of get a hint of it, but just before this row of trees, just down there, that's where the tunnel goes into. But, yeah. There we go. Alright, so onwards to our uh, actual Baron's Cave top, the pyramid, the entrance part of it. I said, not the entrance. It's been, doesn't it, I suppose. It's an exit, really, because it's blocked off. However, I will say this. Last time I was here, obviously not bringing my camera because I was, like I said, just chilling out. It was very easy to open, which is slightly worrying. So I'm going to check today and see if that's hopefully shut. Hopefully. But uh, so obviously these are the 1777 remoulding of the castle grounds. And uh, yeah brings back a lot of memories this place in a strange way because it's another place that I've had a lot of wonderful memories and it does get really busy here in the summertime if you're I mean you're probably if you're local to Rygate you'll know that I mean if you come down here the whole of this ground like I said last time I came down here literally everybody was having a picnic <laughs> but yeah obviously this is the top of the pyramid for the Browns Cape like I said we're not going to talk about it today but uh, yeah, there it is in all its glory. Uh, see, they've put that in. Now, I don't remember that being in there, so I wonder if that's, I don't remember that being there, but I'm sure that that's, I'm sure that's right, they've done that. But I remember it was really easy to access at one point. I'm sure somebody will write in and go, no, it wasn't your line, but I'm pretty sure it was. And I'm pretty sure from memory, when I remember actually properly looking at it last time and I looked at it last time I looked at it wasn't when I was here it was the time before that so it might have been about three years ago the dinosaur the infamous dinosaur that's in there the t-rex was there so however as we know the older we get our memories seem to blur into one but it's easy for me because like I said the last time I came here I geeked my last gig was literally before the zombie apocalypse and then before that I came here uh, in the summertime to enjoy the garden didn't really bother checking out Baron's Cave what's the point uh, and then the time before that that's when I remember it being open well open whatever I just, I just remember I, I swear I swear in my mind it was easy to access but that might be in my mind I don't know now but that orange sort of gated doorway doesn't look familiar to me. But yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> but lots of really lovely memories here, which uh, it's just nice to reminisce in this garden. But like I said, it's strange because if you're here, you wouldn't really know that you're on castle grounds. And it's very similar. If you want a reference point to anybody who's from Kent and they've never been to this, a good reference point would probably be Tunbridge Castle grounds. Um, just because of its size, the smallness of it, obviously in Tunbridge they've got the original gatehouse, the original walls, most of it. Obviously on here, it's just its earth and ramparts and everything else that we see, but obviously that was also changed, obviously in 1777 for the gardens. And what I want to do near the end of the video is head you to that point exactly. That's where some dragon's teeth are. Obviously to coincide with its World War, mini World War II bit of history, as you do. There's always got to be some scattered around somewhere. But this is it. This is the wonderful Rygate Castle and it's beautiful, I love it. Absolutely love it. 
except for the sound of the police <laughs> in the background. There we go. Right, so the final bit I wanted to show you was obviously what I mentioned when we're on top, which is the dragon's teeth, which are right here. And there's plenty of them, I can assure you. Look at that, lovely. <laughs> and then, as you can see here, you guessed it, the entrance to the Baron's Cave itself, and obviously that goes right underneath, straight towards our pyramid which is on top, but it does do another little bend round there as well, brilliant, we will come back to that another day, I know we will, but there's our dragon's teeth, straddling the side of this ditch, and again, like I said, it has this familiarity with Tunbridge Castle. The fact that you walk around this ditch, except obviously in Tunbridge we've got the River Medway as a natural moat, really, of what it was built on. And then again, more and more of our little dragon's teeth there as well. Look at the trees. Aren't they spectacular? You know, nature is a powerful thing, isn't it? And I sometimes think that even though the castle itself isn't as intact as what we would imagine it to be in our minds, the fact that nature has taken it over in such a beautiful way, the only downside is obviously you can hear the traffic, but we are in a town. So it's a given, isn't it, really? But it's nice when we reflect on these types of things and sometimes we just stop to hear the natural noises of like what it was like you know and you can almost reminisce and go if you take away the sound of cars and replace them with horse and cart you know it's a very different type of landscape and yes i know some of you are going to write in and probably say well you forgot about the haunted stuff no i haven't that'll be a separate video for a separate time but for today we are just focusing on the remains of the castle, which unfortunately, as we know, pretty much got re-turfed as the gardens. Still beautiful though. Look at that. Amazing. So, as I make my way out of the castle, I just want to say thank you so much for your kindness, support, and everything in between. As I always say, it really does go a long way. This wasn't the greatest castle you're ever going to see. It wasn't the most historically important castle you're ever going to see, but for Rygate, still a wonderful thing. And to see that it still survives, almost in a sort of... It's, it, it survives in a way that your imagination doesn't have to work over time to sort of picture what this castle could have looked like, even in its basic form. So, as I depart, and heading into the town for my well-deserved coffee. Uh, and in more words of Phoenix history, thank you so much for coming along with me. Hopefully you enjoyed this wonderful little trip. And uh, I'll see you all very soon. Remember to spread the word of the channel. Much love to all of you out there. And I'll see you all very soon. Take care, everybody. Bye for now. Ready? Come on in. Kapow. <laughs>